Let's explore the system architecture for Bluetooth Mesh. The Bluetooth Low Energy System Architecture shares the RF and link layer with Bluetooth Mesh. This is important because any Bluetooth Low Energy hardware could be used for a Bluetooth Mesh implementation. For instance, Silicon Labs EFR32 Blue Gecko and Mighty Gecko SOCs and modules can run Bluetooth Mesh. Bluetooth Mesh introduces new network layer elements. The bearer layer defines how information will be handled. The advertising bearer leverages Bluetooth Low Energy's gap features to send and receive messages. The gap bearer allows devices that don't support the advertising bearer to communicate indirectly with mesh nodes that do. The network layer defines message address types and message formats, which allows information to be transported by the bearer layer. The lower transport layer takes information from the upper transport layer and sends it to the lower transport layer on a peer device. It also performs segmentation and reassembly. The upper transport layer is responsible for encryption, decryption, and authentication of application data. It also handles transport control messages, for instance, friendship and heartbeat. The access layer is responsible for defining how applications can make use of the upper transport layer. The mesh models identify rules for states, messages, and behavior, as well as configuration and management. Bluetooth mesh devices can support mesh networking only or also incorporate Bluetooth low energy functionality. A device that supports Bluetooth mesh networking only can only communicate with other devices on the mesh network. This scenario is ideal for lightweight devices, such as a light switch. Devices that can support both Bluetooth mesh and low energy can also directly interface with smartphones or add beacon functionality. Connected lighting presents an interesting use case where a connected light can enable control by a smartphone, serve as a beacon for location services, and also act as a beacon scanner.